Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is part two of our introduction to RackN Digital Rebar. In this case, we're going to be talking about how Digital Rebar provides a full infrastructure as code lifecycle and what that means for your business. RackN Digital Rebar is the first full lifecycle distributed infrastructure as code platform. And that's a mouthful and it means a lot. So I think the best thing we can do is actually break that down into its component parts, starting from what do we mean by full lifecycle. And there's a lot in this picture, so let's break it down step by step. In a full lifecycle system, you have to have some triggering event, whether that's a user making a request via an API or via a, via a UI, events, timers, webhooks, external systems. Digital Rebar is not designed to do everything it needs to do as a standalone piece. It's actually part of an integrated system, and that integrated system requires orchestration, being part of orchestration and being an orchestrator. Foundationally, we have to have infrastructure as code libraries, ones that we build, ones that our community builds, and ones that our customers build. But that provides the foundation for consistent, repeatable operations. All of that is used to manage infrastructure. Cloud, bare metal, edge, we manage it all in an abstracted way. We don't hide what the differences are, but we do allow you to have a consistent operational platform around provisioning operations, whether it's bare metal provisioning or cloud provisioning using tools like Terraform. From there, you have infrastructure, and you still have to think and manage how to configure that infrastructure, actually build it to suit your purpose, installing applications, installing credentials, certificates, security scans. All of those things need to be part of this story. So provisioning is not sufficient. We have to provision and configure. And once we're done configuring it, we have to operate the infrastructure. We have to think about day two and ongoing operations. How do we continue to make sure the system is Clients. How do we make it easy to patch and update or tear down and replace? All of those are critical in this full life cycle. And going beyond that, none of our customers ever asked us to manage just a single machine at a time. Data center operators think of machines in clusters and groups, and therefore Digital Rebar, as part of our full life cycle system, looks at how we coordinate those operations across machines, providing concepts like clustering. And then we end up with a full cycle. Once we have those pieces built, we go back into orchestration and look at how we continue this operation in this full lifecycle control system. The next critical piece here is that we are a distributed control plane. We're not a SaaS. We don't run the software for our customers. As a matter of fact, one of the things that we find is important to our customers is that they can actually manage and control the system themselves. And we've created it in a way that allows our customers to deploy multiple digital rebar endpoints or control planes. In this picture, we're showing it as a distributed system with different cloud, on-premises, colo, hosted, edge sites, each with their own autonomous control plane and then pulled together as a mesh. You can do the same thing with teams and allow different teams to have autonomous independent control systems and still create a shared view of all the infrastructure, where teams can create a single consolidated inventory, where operators can administer and watch a team's operations, and then share back code through our infrastructure as code platform. And that's why when we build infrastructure as code, we take an everything as code approach. Infrastructure as code is at the heart of digital rebar, and it ensures that we can have an incredibly high degree of reuse across all of our customers across all of our sites and creates that ability to have individual sites operating autonomously but running the same code or running near the same code, giving our operators the option of when to do upgrades and how to do rollouts and how to change the behavior of the systems in an incredibly controlled way. Even down to how we build labs and documentation is all incorporated into an as-code philosophy. And that means you can know exactly what the system's doing down to how it's configured, what the site operations are, what the automation is doing. Now, that's incredibly important for scaling, distributed work, and collaboration. And finally, we build this as a platform. The platform is critical to understand that we can standardize many of the operations and then provide extensibility. This is the way we manage complexity. You can have completely standard pipelines for Linux OS, Windows OS, ESXi install, different clouds. These pipelines 
operate in a consistent way across every environment. And then they're actually able to inject the things that make each system different without creating new pipelines. So the ability to take a platform a means that we can take our pipelines, customize them to site-specific, cloud-specific, hardware-specific, customer-specific needs without breaking the overall pipeline. The pipeline becomes and remains a reusable standard component, but the injected pieces can be varied. That is what makes Digital Rebar such an amazing platform for scaling operations. Hope that this has helped you understand just how powerful Digital Rebar is. It is truly a very broad and deep platform to handle every aspect of infrastructure automation, whether it's cloud, edge, or on-premises and colo. It's super easy to do your own trial, and we highly recommend that people do that. Take this lesson, play with the Digital Rebar install yourself, and watch it build clusters, operate machines, handle resource brokers in your own environment, on your own time, and in your own control systems. You can visit portal.racken.io to go straight to our installer, visit racken.com to learn more about how we do infrastructure as code in a full lifecycle manner. From here, I invite you to do the trial or stay tuned for the third part of this uh, presentation where we will deep dive into Digital Rebar's architecture. And we'll actually understand how we have built this full lifecycle distributed infrastructure as code platform. Thanks.